All right, all. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to overclock your RAM. We're going to be covering how to turn on your XMP profile if you got RAM that's compatible with your motherboard. And if not, I'm going to be showing you an example of how to manually overclock it if you don't have your XMP profile available to you, like me, because I didn't check my QVL list to make sure the RAM that I bought was compatible with my motherboard. But you can still manually overclock it. Stay tuned. And I will show you how to overclock that RAM and get the most performance out of it. All right, all. Like I said in the intro, today we're going to be I'm going to be showing you how to overclock your RAM. The easiest way to do this is XMP, which is set up by the RAM and your motherboard and your BIOS. Now you just go over and click a couple buttons and boom, it's done. That's going to be the easiest way to do it. Uh, i got a video out that shows you how to make sure you pick your compatible RAM with your motherboard using the QVL list. If you're interested in watching that video, I'll put the cord up here for you. But say if you didn't check that QVL and your RAM can't run XMP profile like mine because I didn't check that when I bought my RAM. I just found 16 gigs of RAM at a decent price. At 3000 megahertz and I bought it now here it ain't compatible with my motherboard so I can't run XMP I can but my computer does some funky stuff when I enable my XMP profile so I don't run it my RAM runs a 2666 or 2667 which is what it runs without the XMP profile on but don't worry even if your XMP don't work or you end up in a situation like I am you can still overclock your RAM manually I'm going to also give you an example of how to do this in today's video. I'm just going to walk you through the steps. I did I did do some of the numbers, and the, you know I'll show you that it does still boot up into Windows and whatnot. And just like in, overclocking anything else on your computer, if it's your CPU, your memory, if it's your graphics card, or whatever, you want to make sure it's stable. So after you get your system, after you get the numbers dialed in, I recommend you run a, something like Memtest 86. It's a little program that you have to put on an installer, install onto a USB drive to boot, you know, um, which is fairly simple to do. Um, you know, you run it, run it on your system, it checks your memory, makes sure your memory is running stable, which, like overclock, like I said, overclocking anything, you want to make sure it's running stable. So I would definitely recommend that. Let me jump into the video here that I got with the camera and I'll show you how to get that memory overclocked and I'll be right back I'll be right back after the video with my conclusions to the video. Alright guys, here we are in the BIOS. Whenever you start your computer up, just keep tapping the delete key. And uh, whenever your splash screen for your motherboard comes up and it'll get you into this screen right here come over here on the motherboard it says memory it shows your frequency at 2677 16,384 megabytes which is 16 gigabytes the voltage is running at 1.212 the easiest way to do this if you if you go through the QVL list you go up here you go up here to where it says advanced memory settings double click on that says disabled come down here and put it on profile one that's where it says XMP profile if you went through the QVL list that should automatically populate everything for you it'll be running at 3000 megahertz your voltage is up to 1.35 your legacies cast legacies is turned down to 16 18 18 18 and 36 okay and then you come over here and hit save and exit then you come up here to save and exit okay then you just hit yes and it'll restart into windows me i didn't do this i can't run xmp on mine my motherboard don't support my ram so we're gonna have to manually overclock it Okay guys, since I can't do XMP on mine, I'm going to get into the memory settings here. I'm going to put this back to disable, which puts it back to the stock. 
Right here where it says auto, you click on it and highlight it, it says 2667. Let's go 29.33 and hit enter. You can tell right there, Tokyo it says 29.33. Memory timing modular says auto. Double click on that. Put it down in the manual. Your voltage is still going to be grayed out. We have to go into a different different part of the BIOS to fix that. So let's go with uh, 16. And then we'll go with 18. And then we'll go with 18. And then we'll go with 18. And then we'll go with 32. That's something like what the uh, XMP went with. That's why I chose them numbers. I'm just doing this just to, just to show you guys. Then under advanced voltage setting down here where it says DRAM, down here where it says DRAM channel A and B, set to auto 120 volt to highlight it. Put in what you want 1.35. I know they say you can go up to 1.45, but I'm going to stick with 1.35. And it changes to 1.350 oh, volt. Okay, you go back up here into your and make sure these are set the way you want them. You go and hit save and exit. Save and exit. Save and exit, and the computer will reboot. Now we're going to go back into the BIOS here and make sure the settings took. Okay, a frequency is running at 2946, running 1.368 volts, and they all took 16, 18, 18, 18, and 32. So there you go, that's the way you do it. And this thing here still says 1.22 volts. Let's go over here and pull this little thing here out, and you can see that your memory voltage is running at 1. 0.368 volts and it's pretty simple that's the way you do it let me get reset up and I'll finish out the video all right guys so that's the way you overclock your RAM XMP is the best way to do it if possible you know like I said you know I got that other video out showing you how to make sure it's on the QVL list where you can run the uh, XMP profile right, and I also gave you an example of how to manually overclock it now with the manual overclocking it's going to take you a while because you got to go in and set it up, try this, you know, and then if it crashes or you have artifacting or whatever, you got to go back in and do it again and do it again and do it again, you know. It's a process to get that, that in right. Memtest 86 is a good way to stress test that to make sure it's going to be stable for you once you get it to where it seems to be stable. You know, before I ran Memtest 86, though, I tried some games and tried some of how you normally use your computer before running Memtest 86. Depending on how much RAM you've got, you know, it could take several hours for Memtest to actually test it. So, you know, I just go in and kind of play some games and do some of whatever you normally do with your computer before running the Memtest because it, it does take a while to do that, but it is a good way to make sure it's a good solid overclock and it's going to run at them speeds for you. But with, that, but with that being said, I think I'm going to get out of here for the day. Don't forget to hit that like button or hit this like button on your way out. There's that comment section. I'll go over them comments every Saturday morning at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on my live stream. And then if I get a chance, I go back and type them out, which I normally do. I'm still a pretty small channel, so I I still have time to be able to manage them yet. If you really liked what you saw here today, make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn on that notification bell. And with all that being said, you all have a good day. And I'll see you in the next video or live stream.